And we're starting this game here on MLG Metalopolis. It's going to be a Protoss versus Protoss. Lunatone won that last game very quickly with a nice timed out cheese. Two gates in uh, Soyuz natural expansion on Belshire Beach. We'll see what he decides to do on this map. And they are spawning in close air positions, so that does make Phoenix play viable. And over here in the top or middle left hand position, not really top, um, we do have Lunatone PKM. He is actually in a Clan XPN. His opponent is going to be the Protoss player Soyu. Um, not sure which clan he is in, but uh, the pink Protoss player in the bottom position of Metalopolis. And uh, I think he is going to be 9 pylon scouting this game. Going to be throwing down his pylon inside of his, of his main and Lunatone PKM doing the same. Not doing a scout of his own as of yet. And there's the probe scooting out across the field to check out what his opponent is doing. And uh, Lunatone PKM uh, building everything inside of his base. Forcing Soyu to actually do the scout which he didn't actually do in the last game thinking that his opponent... Uh, wouldn't cheese him, so it's bad to make assumptions of your opponent in any case. Just play the game that you know, and there's Probe checking out the inside of Lunatone's base, and he sees the gateway, and he'll breathe a sigh of a relief. The, pilot, the Probe is going to be checking out the inside of Lunatone's base for the next two or three minutes to see exactly what's going on. There's the pylon, uh, I mean a forge, no, that's not a, a gateway. Man, I have not casted in like two or three days, and I'm saying lots of wrong things. <laughs> and there's the gateway for Soyu. It's going to be slightly ahead of Lunatone's own gateway, but both players generally doing the exact same build as of this moment. Soyu trying to pick off that probe there, almost doing it, leaving it with just five shield. <clears throat> Soyu beginning to work down on Lunatone's First pylon over here will force a probe to come over here and not attack it. Looks like the pylon will be left alone for a little while. And the probe is going to continue see continue seeing that Lunatone is not actually saving that much in terms of Chrono Boost. And a second gas coming up for Lunatone as well. And Lunatone PKM doing a very obnoxious thing, right clicking on that extractor and preventing Soyu from actually taking the uh, extractor early enough to be able to do any sort of quick teching. That probe is being so obnoxious there, Lunatone is going to move away with just 5 HP, Soyu throwing down his own assimilator now. So you is going to be able to chrono boost out additional units and also chrono boost out his uh, warp gate tech just a little bit faster because Lunatone PKM did spend it more on probes. I think he should be slightly ahead in terms of probes. Yeah, 21 probes to the 19 of So Yu. Uh, we'll see what he decides to do with that slight economic lead early in this game. He's getting out stalkers right now, chrono boosting them out. Also has his warp gate tech on the way. There's the first stalker popping out. Will be able to guard the ramp. Zella out on the field for Soyu, guarding his side of the ramp as well. And um, there's a lot of different things that could happen in this match from this point on. Both players are getting out a couple of extra units. Soyu is going to have the uh, lesser end of this exchange if he decides to move out a little bit too far, since he has one Zella and his, and his opponent has gone for. Two Zella open, uh, I mean two Stalker opening, and from this point on, we'll probably see both players go for some sort of robotics. And oh no, I'm so wrong. Both of them are going for Stargate builds. This is so strange. Looks like both of them are gonna be going for those Phoenix. And uh, in these close positions, Stargate builds actually hard counter immortal builds, since those Phoenixes can pick up those immortals and kill them off. And the reason why I said. Um, they may both go for a, a robo builds is because those are good for getting out those observers and going for blink stalkers but neither of them doing that in this game and Lunatone chasing after that one stalker trying to take it out looks like a little bit of an exchange over here so you getting the better of that exchange killing off one stalker and forcing the other to retreat his void ray is on the way and actually canceling it for a phoenix and there's the Phoenix popping out for Lunatone as well. He's going to have the faster Phoenix production in this case. We'll see how well the Phoenixes are controlled for both players. So you rallying his Phoenixes over to the backside of Lunatone's base. 
and the first Phoenix out for Lunatone, Chrono boosting them out as quickly as possible. He's also got a probe building a pylon in the back. That's exactly where Soyuz Phoenixes are rallied. Looks like he did hold them back. Aren't gonna is not gonna reveal them too soon. He's getting a stalker. Um, up at the front as well as the sentry gaining some energy to help force seal just in case his opponent went for any sort of um, all-in attack off of one base there's the phoenix is popping up this is going to be such a strange game and there's the three phoenixes out for lunatone he's going to be going on the offensive and so you does have his third phoenix popping out real soon he also has the home field advantage and there's the phoenixes showing up so you is going to be kind of confused here he's bringing his own phoenixes over and they will exchange a little bit and one phoenix getting taken down another one does pop out and lunatone perfect phoenix control saving all three of them while taking down uh three phoenixes of so use two phoenixes here very damaged for lunatone pkm warping in a ton of units does not want to get harassed so you bringing his phoenix over here he does not want to get that caught because both phoenixes are able to shoot at the same rate he needs to bring his army over here another phoenix does pop out for so you and his uh positioning of this Stargate is actually hurting him a lot. Lunatone securing a very strong lead in the beginning of this game. More Phoenixes popping out for Lunatone right now. The Phoenixes are regenerating their shields right now. And he's uh, probably gearing up to take this base. Yeah, there it is. Um, the 400 minerals in the bank. He will be taking that shortly and using the Phoenixes to his advantage. There's that Phoenix coming forward. Going to get taken out by the Phoenixes of Lunatone PCAM. And here comes the push from Lunatone. He's going to be able to use his Phoenixes to pick up a bunch of these units and uh, kill them off. Looks like not that good Phoenix control right now. One Phoenix is left behind and will almost, there it is, getting taken out. And the Phoenix is in the main of uh, uh, so you taking out a couple of probes and there's the counter push from so you moving forward and uh, he's letting that sentry get up that ramp and he will be able to force seal there's the uh, nexus coming up for lunatone pkm and the phoenixes are now returning home will be able to pick up a bunch of these stalkers and kill them off the force field preventing lunatone from actually moving down his own ramp but um with that expansion coming up this is a very nice advantage for Lunatone and there's the additional reinforcing Phoenixes forcing the cancel on that lift on those Phoenixes more Phoenixes coming out for Lunatone and so you being forced into a defensive position with his stalkers I'm not too sure what he wants to do with those right now Lunatone with a, a strong uh, advantage here with the ability to attack and defend very easily with all of these Phoenixes and denying the gas here allowing him to get a leg up on Phoenix production, so you trying to produce yet another one. Lunatone does see it, and he's gonna park right over it and try to kill it off. Looks like so you sending it after the Phoenixes. That is not a good choice. Nexus now finishing for Lunatone PKM, and all he has to do is defend, 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 and he's gonna have such a strong advantage into the late game, especially with uh, so you without any. Uh, additional tech or uh, expansion of his own and there's uh, Lunatone sacrificing his phoenixes here to do a little bit more of damage and uh, so you trying to push in through the front he's got a couple of zealots o over here on the high ground and the uh, phoenix is flying in here gonna be able to do plenty of damage another warp in with the zealots and the phoenix is picking up a bunch of those stalkers will quickly take them out but the zealots inside of lunatone's main a couple of zealots being warped in for lunatone will be able to defend against that and the stalkers retreating back home for so you 42 food to the 68 food of Lunatone PKM in, in a mirror matchup. That is not a position you want to be in. He's trying to Chrono Boost out those workers to replace the ones that he has lost. But Lunatone with more efficient mining as well as higher probe production capacity is in, a, again, a, such a strong advantage. And all of these zealots sacrificing themselves, trying to do some damage here. It looks like they are trapped in a corner. And they do get taken out. So you is going to be forced to GG out of this game eventually. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Since uh, he is being very resilient as of this point. He's backing up with the stalkers. Will meet up with the, the uh, slightly lesser numbers 